Have you ever wondered why some people are so consistent and disciplined in achieving their goals that they, they just go each time that they need to and they never miss? In this video, I will explain to you why motivation is useless without this one key thing. But before I tell you what it is, I want to explain to you the concept of the hierarchy of motivation of desires. And our desires are closely associated with our needs. And because of that, I think that the hierarchy of motivation can also be called Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Because as humans, we are motivated to fulfill needs. And when we lack needs, we will be motivated to fulfill them. Think about it in your own experience. When you jack off, you try to fulfill the need of reproduction, which is a need that is in the bottom of the hierarchy that we must fulfill. And as we go up in that hierarchy, we are less motivated to achieve those desires because they don't benefit our survival as much. But the thing about them is that we need to fulfill them to live a good life, right? And that's the thing, bro. It's discipline. But before we click out of this video, let me explain what is discipline. Discipline is the ability to sacrifice a lower level of need, the biological one, the survival ones, not overindulging in the things that fulfill them, and sacrificing the overindulgence in them so we will actually survive, right? For the higher levels of needs to fulfill more of our needs and become better human beings, happier ones, more peaceful and fulfilled ones. And there are two main things that you have to keep in mind in order to become disciplined by using this definition. Because if you will miss out on one of them, you will not be disciplined and I can care of fucking to you that. So the first thing is the motive. It's the higher motive, higher level of motivation of desire. What it means? It's basically how many needs you think that are going to be fulfilled by this goal. Let's say training in the gym. If you will think that going to the gym will only fulfill the need of sexual intimacy, you will be motivated to go there. But if this need will be fulfilled by any other way that is easier, that requires less pain, you will fulfill it by that way and you will stop training. But the sacrifice part, it is the more important one. Because even if you will be motivated to achieve the higher outcome, but you will have no self-control to sacrifice the lower level of motivation, you will fail. And self-control, we were all born with it. The mid simulate cortex is the part in our brains that is responsible for it according to two recent fucking studies. I'm not a scientist, but right. But I've heard it on the Andrew Huberman podcast. We were all born with it, meaning that we all have it. And the thing is that we can also grow it by going through hardship, by sacrificing and doing things that suck when we don't want to do them. And that's my system for this. I mean, that's how you develop the second part of it. You go, you pick a goal, you make it easier, and then you go, you pursue it, you habitualize it, you go each time that you don't feel like it, and then you increase it. And as you increase it, you will need to use more discipline to achieve it. And as time will go on, you will develop this part in your brain, you will become a lot more disciplined, self-controlled, and if you will have the first part of the equation, the higher level of motivation, I promise you that you will be insanely consistent in the pursuit of any goal. And that's it.